Hi, this is Aaron. Um, this tutorial is, is uh, primarily for my um, Photoshop class, a uh, digital imaging. And but there, if someone is interested, there are things that you can learn, useful things that you can learn while watching by watching this video. Even if you're not taking a class. So, but I'm just going to jump right in. Um, this this is a um, assignment called food guy basically you have to the assignment is to take these pieces and use selection tools and pull everything apart and make this figure so I'm gonna just start and do it how I would normally do it I'm just gonna push this off to the side so the first thing I would do is since if you look at the original the final image is this guy's mushroom hat is not going to fit on this guy's head you know unless I add more space to the the image um, I'm gonna go to the magic magic wand tool and I'm just gonna click on this background okay and I don't want this all this area here selected so actually I'm gonna zoom out a little bit okay um and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna click on the the marquee tool the square marquee tool and I'm gonna hold down the option key and I don't know if you can see that there's the on the the cursor there's a little negative sign here so now from here I'm just gonna select right there so now I can deselect this selected area okay so now all I have selected is this melon and I want to remove it from the background but if I hit the delete key uh, actually it's on the background layer um, so and I need I want to get rid of that but I'll, I'll worry about that later but um because I can't do a lot of things as long as this is saying that it's the background layer so I need to change that into a regular layer so I can delete and delete things as I wish but for now since I've already made this selection actually no that doesn't matter I can I can use this as an opportunity to show something else okay I'm gonna hit um, deselect and now this background layer it's I'm gonna select it and I'm just going to double click and now it says name layer zero it's no longer a background layer so that means I can delete things um since this was my last selection let's see if I can find this I don't use this a whole lot uh, let's just try reselect alright there we go I got it okay so I'm just gonna go over here to selection reselect and it reselects my um last selection so if you have a selection you can come off of it and then go back to it so now that I again this now that this background layer is gone I can just hit delete and I have nothing there whereas when I was in a background layer every time I do anything it wants to know what I want to fill it with and different things like that but now I can just hit delete key and it goes away so I'm gonna hit the delete key and now that background information is gone um so I'm going to first off, I'm gonna make two new layers okay one and too and, and it's a good idea to name your layers I'm gonna name this layer white because that's gonna be my final background and then I'm going to fill it with white edit you can't see these menus up here but it's edit fill and it's already set to white and these are my selections but it's already set to white so I'm just gonna hit OK so now whoops I'm gonna do that again deselect uh, so I'm going up here select um, deselect and now it's deselected now I'm gonna try this again uh, edit fill and fill it with white and now it's filled with white okay so now I'm gonna drag that down to the bottom and now you, it's you can't see it anymore um, but this is alright I'll go to this one I'm gonna call this one blue this layer because I want to fill this layer so edit fill uh, color and then I'm just gonna make a blue color to fill this so I can see when I'm making my selections if I have white left in the in the background okay so now I'm gonna move that back here and now you can see that this selection isn't that great I got a lot of white around here although although since this is going to be on the white background I don't really need to worry about that being clean okay but I'll get into that later okay but anyway for now I'm gonna just drop it back to the background okay so now we're going to go to this okay I have this melon here 
I'm going to go to my magic wand tool because I just want to put this on its own separate layer. It's good, a good idea to, to keep things on separate layers. You can move them around, but if you work on one layer, um, you'll run into problems. So if, for instance, say I'm just using the lasso tool here. Say I, I'm just going to do a really quick garbage selection. Is Say I grab this um, bow tie pasta and I just drag it over. Okay, I can show you what I did. I hit the command key and you see the little scissors next to the cursor. So I can just move this over here. If I just need to move it here, that would be that would work fine. But I don't want to do it this way because if I move it there, then I hit select, deselect, it's locked into place. So now if I decide later, it's like, okay, I, I want to clean this, this area up. I want to get rid of this white. When I go to get rid of that white, I hit delete, and it <laughs> removes the, the melon as well. So it's a very good idea to... Um, to use layers. If once you're done or you get something and you just know that you're not going to go have to go back and change it, then you can compress the layers or flatten the layers as it's called. But for now, I want to keep these things all in different layers. So I'm just going to go to my history panel and I'm just going to go back a few steps till I get that back. Okay, deselect. Let's make sure. Okay. So, all right. So now I've got that. Um although one thing that I always say is use this little camera guy I mean this little camera down here in the history panel I'm gonna snap a picture that way I can go back to the beginning and if you notice if I go back to the beginning all my layers disappear but I took a snapshot here in the history panel and it takes me right back so if I make a mistake or something I want to go back I can always go back okay um and another thing and that was made very clear in class recently uh, save early and save often a lot of students machines crashed yesterday that was not good so I'm going to just save this food guy PSD I'm gonna save it to the to my desktop and then I'm gonna hit the save button which is off the screen okay so save all right so now I want to move I'm gonna move this blue layer up and again I'm not recommend I'm not saying don't do the blue layer you don't need to do the well when it comes to making sure some of these other things are don't have this white halo around them you will need the blue layer but I'm moving this up here just so you can see that this melon is not on the same layer as uh, or it is separated from these but the thing is if I take the marquee tool and I click on that and move it it's all still one piece because I just deleted the background I'm gonna hit uh, command Z to undo that okay so now what I want to do I this is a really quick selection you can I'm just gonna take the square marquee tool because there's nothing around it and I'm just gonna put a big box on there and I'm gonna go edit uh, cut and then watch the layer menu edit and when I hit paste it's going to um, appear another new layer is going to appear paste so you see a new layer appeared here I'm just gonna call this melon alright so from here I can move this around as much as I want this button right here called auto select is really important um, if this layer if this auto select button is not on when you go to click here it's fine you're on this melon layer but if I want to move to something so this background layer um, and I move to click I click on it nothing's gonna happen everywhere I click I'm going to end up on this same layer but if auto select is on that means wherever I visually click no matter how many layers as long as you can see it you can click on it it will affect that layer so now I'm gonna click on it I'm gonna move the mellow I mean the melon and here I go to the background and the background moves okay so I'm just gonna hit undo with that and but you can see it it, it works really nicely um, there will be times when you want to stay on a specific layer and then you just turn that off and you can work and you don't have to worry about accidentally selecting something else. And it's also nice sometimes if you something gets lost, you can't find it, turn that off, click this layer, click on the layer that you want, and then you can move that layer. Okay? Well actually I'm gonna use it. I didn't move this one. See it moves all you know, all three of these layers. Okay, now I'm just gonna hit un I'm just gonna undo that. And again, when I'm hitting these un repeated to undo is command Z. If you want to do repeated undos, you hit command option Z. And if I do that, I'm going to move down here. So when I'm going to hit command Z, oh, it doesn't work here. But if I hit command shift Z, I mean command option Z, you can see I'm not using the key, but you can see my history panel, 
everything is moving. And that's why I'm holding Command Option Z. And that's how I'm moving things back. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So I'm going to uh, close this panel and I'm going to move this guy down a little bit. All right. So he's in place. And again, this halo won't show up because the background's going to be white. So I'm not going to wa waste time on that. <clears throat> um, so first off, I'm going to start out with the magic wand tool. Uh, the magic wand tool is a pretty old tool. <clears throat> used to be really great but now it's been far surpassed by the quick selection tool but there are times when the magic wand tool works really well um, the magic wand tool is gonna work really well right here in this carrot because it's um because it's against a stark white background so there's lots of contrast and you don't have to worry about it uh, selecting the wrong thing actually I just clicked but I'm on the wrong layer so it selected this layer so now I'm gonna select deselect or command command D and I'm going to click on I'm gonna give this a layer uh, I'm just gonna call that stuff because that's where all the stuff is at <clears throat> it's a good idea to keep your name your layers name because eventually you you know you're gonna have a lot of layers here okay so I'm gonna go back to the stuff layer and I'm going to the magic wand is selected and I'm gonna click and you see what happened is Ooh, it's I'm actually selecting things from other objects that's not what I want to do I just want to select this area right here so right up here in the options panel and again one thing with this options panel wherever you click you whenever you select a different tool that options panel is gonna change okay so if you're looking for something you can't find it make sure you're on the right tool okay so I'm gonna go back up to the magic wand and the reason when I select this, it's selecting all kinds of areas because I need contiguous uh, selected. I mean, because basically that's saying contiguously, it's just going to connect what is it can connect to. It's not going to select relevant colors or related colors or same colors in different areas. So I'm going to click contiguous. Now when I click on that carrot, it stays in there. But I'm still having another problem is it's only selecting a particular kind of orange here I, I want a more broad range of colors so right here in the tolerance my tolerance is set at 20 you can even type these in manually or just hover over that letter tolerance and I'm just gonna zoom it up Whoa, I don't want 225 I don't need 225 I'm just gonna put it up to 100 okay let's see what that how that goes and I'm just gonna click on the carrot boom I got a nice selection of my carrot I'm gonna hit edit <coughs> cut uh, or command X and you can see when I cut this it made a hole here I can copy it and leave it you know leave the original intact although it's probably not a bad idea to leave it intact just in case I need to go back to it so I'm gonna go edit copy and then I'm gonna go back up to edit and paste or command V and where is it okay I'm gonna table label this carrot and now I have to find it. I'm going to click on my marquee, I mean my <clears throat> selection tool here. What is this called? Move tool. Okay, I'm going to click on the move tool. And since I'm on the carrot layer, <clears throat> I'm going to turn off auto select real quick. And I can click anywhere. Okay, so it was right there in the same spot. So I'm going to turn auto select back on. Okay, so it's now it's coming in behind my uh, melon. So all I have to do is come over here to my layer and drag it up top. And now I can drop that in place. Okay. Um, one thing I'm again. I need mean, space command to zoom in. I still have a little bit of a halo around this object, so um, I'm I, I'm going to uh, reselect that. And what I'm going to do here is uh, I'm going to make a mask. Uh, now to make a mask, I need to come down here. This little icon. That's going to be my layer mask. And the nice thing about the layer mask is now I need mask. I'm not seeing it. I'm going to go up to my window and bring in masks. Okay. Okay. So I had it down here. Uh, my menu uh, might not be the same here. Let me see. Let me go to, uh, I'm on essentials, but I'm not sure if that is exact, if I've made any changes. So I'm going to hit reset essentials. Yes, it changed. I kind of like the way I had it there, but I'm going to change it so that you'll be able to get the same, you'll be, have the same uh, 
same things showing that I do. Okay, so here in the mask, the mat, there's a mask panel here, and then there's my layers panel. And I can double click and that'll close that, but there's masks and adjustments. Okay, so from here, I have, let me go back to layer. The carrot is selected, my carrot, carrot, um, layer, layer mask. And if I click on this little, but okay, it was already selected. Okay, so I click on this little button here, and I can, let's see if this feathers, whoa, okay, I feathered that way too much. But you can see how it's showing, it's feathering that edge. But what I want to do is change the mask edge. And if I click on that area right there, this little thing, edge shift right here, if I move that in, you see how it just ever so slightly cuts, cuts in on there. I'm going to smooth that out a little bit because it's looking a little rough. So I'm going to smooth that edge and that'll make that edge nice and smooth. But you see if I move this edge shift out, it bring that shows that white, but I'm actually bringing in the sides to remove that. Um let's see what the edge contrast will do. Okay, see yeah, if I kick up the edge contrast, I kind of don't like that, so I'm just going to leave that alone. Feather will well <laughs> will soften it too much but I'm, I'm not gonna worry so I'm just gonna worry about the edge shift and smooth and smooth that edge just a little bit okay so I'm gonna hit okay alright so I've made the I've cleaned that white edge up right there um I'm going to show you another way to do this without using the the mask but right here this is non-destructive you don't have to, you know, it's a good idea to to use these, um, the masks because they're non-destructive. If I decide I don't want to, I don't want to keep it, you can just right-click and I can hit uh, Disable Layer Mask. Now it's gone. That's the way it looked before I went to the layer mask. You see it's turned off, but I can turn it right back on. I can delete it. I can apply it, and it'll just become a regular layer. But that's that's one way. It's a little more difficult, but you can see you have more control doing it that way. All right, so I'm going to hit the space bar to get the little hand tool, and I'm going to come back over here. And I'm going to go back down to my stuff layer. I'm going to click on that same carrot, and I'm going to hit Command-C to copy it. I'm going to hold the space bar to scroll over, and I'm going to hit Command-V. Well, I don't see it. It must be in the background. I'm going to hit the selection. Whoops, no, I did something wrong. I'm going to zoom out. Command-Space option to zoom out okay now let's see if I can find okay it's it's over here on top of this one okay so again it's behind the uh, face so I'm gonna bring it to the front and I'm command space I mean command yeah command space bar to zoom in um, another easy way to uh, clean this up uh, as you can see it has that white halo this is a this is sort of the old school way I'm just gonna drag it down here on this blue background so I can see it clear more clear the other way is actually a lot cleaner and more professional, but all right, that's not. I'm using the eraser tool here, um, but it's yeah, okay. And then you can, and, and I'm gonna shrink that up a little. I'm gonna use the the left and right brackets just under the delete key to to um. Whoops, I hit the wrong key. Uh, I need the eraser. Okay, and then I'm just going to erase erase in on this and this is just another way that you can you can do this and I can zoom in you know a lot more and continue to clean this up but again you can see this is and the re actually I'm using a, a Wacom tablet and that's pressure sensitive so I have to press really hard to to do that <laughs> so I'm just gonna switch to my mouse here but you can see this is it's a little sloppy it's not as clean it, you have to learn do a little bit of learning to do it the other way but doing it the other way is going to give you better results but if you can't remember how to do that other way and you don't have time to figure it out you just have to be patient and you can you know do it this old school way just like that okay all right, so I'm I'm done with that. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna continue to zoom out. As you can see, there's a there's a there's there's a big difference here, as to the the way these look. So I'm just gonna take that little guy, dump him in the trash. I'm gonna click 
on my move tool and I'm just gonna duplicate this duplicate this layer um, and I, I'm pretty sure I know that I'm done with this layer mask I'm not gonna do anything else to it so I'm just gonna get rid of it and I'm going to hang on I have to need to click on the black box and 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 it just a quick note is the black where the black is it covers the area it re it um, reveals what's beneath and the white area reveals the object okay so anyway I'm going to <clears throat> I'm going to one, one quick one quick note I'm gonna click back on here and if I so if I take my brush tool and you see where there's color chips the black is to reveal the background so I'm gonna I can paint here here it reveals the background so I'm basically erasing my object but if I swap these colors by clicking on that little toggle the white I can paint the areas back in but you can see I'm painting out that nice mask that I did where I got rid of the white edges so okay I'm just gonna hit uh, undo a few times let me hang on let me see I'm not sure I don't want to go too far okay okay we deleted that I'll go back okay all right so what I'm just going to do here click on my move tool I'm gonna write excuse me I'm going to write I have to be clicked on the box to right click and I'm gonna hit apply layer mask and now that just accepts it it just it just simplifies things I don't really recommend you get rid of the mask because if there's something you need to go back and change but I really know I'm not going to be changing that um so right here I'm just going to to make a duplicate layer all right carrot all right carrot copy and I can just move it over okay so I'm hitting the space command option to zoom out and again auto select is on so I can just move this little guy into into place all right okay so I'm gonna try to move I think I'm taking a little bit too much time here um another thing you can do and again it's not that clean but if I want to do this nose um I can just go around it like this but you know it's really difficult to control that control that cursor okay but another good thing is if I hold the option key you see the lasso tool there and I hold the option key I get that little minus so I can still go in and and tweak this you know and then if I let go let me see which key okay I hold the shift key and I can add so you can actually go in and sculpt this pretty well okay so again option to subtract so you don't have to uh, shift to plus to add so you don't have to get this just right on the first time and again remember I'm using a, a Wacom tab whoops went the wrong way I'm gonna hit command Z <laughs> all right so I want to add add to this so I'm I'm drawing my the way I'm drawing is a, a little bit you know different than you'll be drawn with a mouse all right okay all right I think this will this will pass as long as it's clean on the edges okay so for this one hang on okay and again this is sort of the the old school non-technical way to do it okay and again I'm just holding the I, I'm on the lasso key lasso tool and I'm just hitting the option and shift now I'm gonna hit command C to copy whoops tells me I'm in a wrong layer okay I am in a wrong layer I need to find I need to go to my stuff layer now I'm gonna hit copy now I'm gonna hold the space bar down move okay now space command option to zoom out and then I'm gonna hit command V to paste all right, you can see it pasted it here, uh, nose, and it's on the wrong layer. So I'm just going to drag that up on top. Ah, and I must must still be over here. Let's see. Uh, click on the move tool. Okay, yeah, it's still over there. All right. So you can see this ugh, this isn't as clean as the other one is. Other one was. So I can go in again. This is on a separate layer, so I don't have to worry about erasing anything beneath. I'm just going to hit the eraser tool, and I can sort of 
clean this up a, a little bit. Again, there are definitely better ways to do this, but I'm just showing you different ways to do it. You can do it in ways that you're more comfortable with. But sometimes you need to just make a, a small change and doing, you know, like if I just see that little bit of white right there, rather than going into the edge refine tool, I can just erase a little bit of that. Okay. Anyway, I'm just going to I'm just going to keep going. I'm not going to worry about making this perfect. Perfect. And when I'm on a different tool, what I'm doing in order to get back to this move tool, I just hold the command key and it goes back goes back there. Okay. So, I got that. All right. Next one, I'm going to zoom in on this kiwi. I'm going to do this quick. All right. So, I want to switch to actually the the background. Let's see how the magic wand tool handles this. Whoops, I'm on the wrong layer need to go down here scroll down click on my stuff layer select deselect or command D click on there on the Kiwi that's not good continuous uh, tolerance ah because it's selecting all the black all right so there's too many similar colors you see that's not okay see like here I selected this with the magic wand but then I can go in with the lasso tool hold down the option key and get that minus and then just clean that up that way you know there's no single way to uh, make a selection you know there are a, a number of ways so I'm gonna command C to copy that I'm gonna zoom out now I'm gonna bring it over here oh actually it's gonna I'm gonna hit select deselect or command D hang on select deselect yeah command D and then I'm gonna hit command V to paste it all right, so I pasted this. I need to bring it up to the top. I'm going to put Kiwi, name it, and then I'm going to bring it up to the top of this layer here, above the, <clears throat> on top of the melon. Okay, so now we have the mouth. Okay, it looks, it's a little bit smaller on this image, so I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, or Edit Free Transform, and I get this little box. And if I scale it like this, you know, I can really squish it, but I don't want to do that. I hit just Command Z. I'm going to hit the shift key to constrain it and that'll make sure it'll go up and down and you know and maintain its proportions okay so that looks about right okay so I'm just going to scale it a little more alright now that's done I can just hit this little checkpoint here and hit OK I'm going to try to do that again real command T just to hit free transform and if I click on the move tool that wasn't what I expected maybe now let's see all right so I moved it I hit command T I mean I clicked on the move tool and then it asked me do you want to apply it don't apply or cancel I'm gonna hit apply okay so now I'm gonna go on to the next um I think the magic wand tool. I need to be on my stuff layer I think the magic wand tool works nicely on this great I mean the blueberries mmm let's kick the hunt the tolerance up to 150 and see what happens all right Just command D to deselect Oh, hang on. Command D to deselect. Whoa. <laughs> it's selecting like everything. Alright. Let's try tolerances of 120. Okay, Command D to deselect. Alright, magic wand. Still too much. Alright, Command D uh, to deselect. I'm going to use the magic wand. I mean the uh, quick selection tool. Perfect. Alright, so here I'm going to hit Command C to copy it. I'm going to hit Command Space Option to zoom out. Space Bar to move over. Command V. It's behind. I'm going to change that name of Blue Berry. And I'm going to drag that over the melon. Oh, I got to drag it over the carrots too. Well, hang on. I don't see it, so I'm going to hit the Move tool. Oh. Okay, because I'm on Auto Select. I'm going to turn Auto Select off and it'll stay there. Okay, there we go. All right, so quick way to, to get this eye, I'm just, I have this this layer with the blueberry, so I'm just going to hold down the, I'm going to click on it, hang on, okay, that didn't, okay, um, so a lot of times I use these key commands and, and I don't even think about them, so I'm going to hold the, I hit the command key, I don't see what I'm looking for, okay, okay, so it's the option key 
is what I'm looking for. So when I hold down the Option key, you see those double arrows? Now I can move. Okay, so no double arrows, double arrows by holding down the Option key, and that just duplicates this guy. Oops, he's behind. I'm going to let go, but it actually made a new layer. So I'm just going to move it up. Oh, actually, I'll just drop this other carrot down back there. Okay, so I'm going to put this back to Auto Select. Let's see, I can do anything I want. Okay. Um. All right. So we have eyes, nose. All right. Let's get this. I think those are beats. Um. Okay. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to draw a little box around this guy. Uh. Again, I'm not sure if this is going to work. To be honest. Okay. So I drew a little box. Make sure I'm on the stuff layer. And I let's see if I hit the the magic wand tool. If I, okay, that's negative. All right, that may have worked. Okay, because I held, I'm going to undo that. I'm going to hold down the option key, or do I need to have the positive key? No, that didn't work. Okay, so I'm, I made the little box around this. I hold, hold, I'm holding down the option key, and I'm clicking. And it just sort of selected this, and this is working because of this, is this white area. And I don't want anything else, but that's why I drew that first box. I'm going to do that again. Because, to be honest, I'm not even sure what I did. Okay. Um, again, a lot of these things, you know, I do them, but I'm, I'm not just not used to verbalizing what I'm doing. I just do it. Okay, so I drew the little box around here, and then I go to the... And again, that's just to isolate this white area so it doesn't pick up on this area. So, I Command-D to deselect. Okay, so I draw my box that isolates this beat in this white background. I click on the magic wand key magic wand tool and then I hold down the option key and I get that minus sign and I click and then it just selects what's inside that box I get, I'm missing a little here and here it, again I can go back I can add the magic wand I mean the lasso tool I, I want to add to this but it's giving me a negative so I'm just gonna get a plus and then I can just lasso that little bit of an area right there all right, so from here I'm going to hit Edit, uh, Copy, and because you can see it's leave, it's going to leave. I'm going to hit Edit, Cut, just so you can see what happens. Edit, Cut, and you can see it's leaving a little bit of the extra on the side, but there you go. Command C to copy, it's, but I just want you to see there. So I can hit Command V to paste, um, and here I'm going to name this Beats or radish or whatever it is um okay so I'm gonna bring that up to the top and let's see where is this guy at I'm gonna hit the move tool okay there we go all right you can see this edge is it's a little bit harsh so I'm gonna put this guy on a on a layer mask and soften that edge. all right so now I'm going to click on the magic wand now I'll select everything but I, I should have clicked if I, I'm going to hit Command D to deselect, but you see it doesn't collect everything here. It doesn't select everything. So I'm going to hit Command D. I'm clicking on the outside, and then I'm going to go up here to um, to inverse it. I'm going to select and inverse. It's off the screen, but uh, Command Shift I to or select inverse. And now it's selected just. Whoops, I'm not on. It's selected just. Why is that? Oh, because I'm on the magic wand tool, and it's selected just this. Okay, so from here, I'd like to refine this edge. I'm going to hit on the hit the the um, mask tool. Cancel. I didn't mean to do that. And where did I go? I, I'm just going to hit undo. Okay, so now I'm back. Oh, okay. I'm going to make this mask again. Okay, so I made the mask, and here. I'm just going to feather You see how it's softening? Well, it's softening way too much. I'm just going to soften that area just a, a little bit. Actually, I don't like that. I'm going to go back to Mask Edge, go in here, see if this does a little better. Yeah, it's doing the same thing. I'll shift that edge in. I can smooth it. Okay, this isn't looking the greatest, but... Just a little bit of softening will, will make it nice, but I, it can't handle much. Okay, so I have that layer. Now what, okay, I'm going to, I'm done messing with the edge here. So, and again, I recommend saving, but I'm just going to right-click, 
oops, I have to be on this, on the little box, right click, and I'm going to hit apply layer mask. Okay, now for this, I'm going to duplicate this layer. Duplicate layer, it's off the screen, but it says duplicate layer, and beats copy, and then I can just, I'm on the move tool, just move it over. I want to flip this, so I'm going to go up to edit, transform, and go down to flip horizontal and it'll flip it okay I mean you can use the free transform tool to flip something like this I'm just gonna copy this real quick and I'm gonna hit command T to get the free transform this is the way I usually do it rather than go there but it you can work however you want I usually move it all the way over till it's lined up and then I hold the option key hang on let me make sure I <laughs> did that I don't even remember what direction I came in okay so the beats are on the left hold down the option and it flips it because the, the danger you have you can just flip it this way but the danger in doing that is it, you know you can distort the image and it may not look right so uh, that's just I just want to show you that real quickly but I'd recommend just going under um, under uh, wherever it was edit edit uh, transform and flip horizontal or vertical okay so I'm just gonna hit undo to a command you know undo it using the history panel till I get back to there okay so we have this one all right um, all right these ears um, I'm looking at these ears here and they actually cut the rind off so I'm going to you know it you know cuts that end off so I'm gonna do something a little different with that one okay I'm gonna take the lasso tool but if you look at the polygonal lasso tool, it, it does a little different. Again, I'm just zooming in using spacebar command. And I'm just going to click. And the small, like if you take big chunks on this, it's going to look bad. I mean, that's what it's going to look like. It's going to look really chunky like this. So I recommend taking, whoops, cancel. Uh, deselect uh, doing in, in very uh, hang on I'm doing this wrong again very small increments okay so I'm gonna start here the again the smaller the increments you take the less noticeable it you know the more it appear to be like a curve So I recommend taking a little bit of time here. That area is not going to be shown. And you can see when I'm done, if you see the lasso tool right here, when I hover over, I'm going to get that little circle right. Hang on. <laughs> Why is it not giving me the circle? Okay, I get that little circle right there telling me it'll close it. And I just click, and it closes it. All right, so here I'm going to hit copy. Whoops, I'm not on the right layer. So I need to go down to my stuff layer, and I'm going to hit Command-C to copy. And then I'm going to move over here, and I'm going to hit Command-V to paste. All right, I'm going to zoom out. All right, I'm going to turn off auto-select. So I'll, okay, it's still over there. Auto-select back on. And it's already behind the, um, the melon, so I'm just going to leave that. Although it looks like that ear is a little bit squished by this object. So I'm going to squish a little. I'm going to hit go edit. Trans uh, free transform. Oh, I accidentally clicked outside of program. Edit free transform. And now I have the brackets. I can just kind of squish that in by clicking the side angle. You know, here it'll go this way, here it'll go this way, and here I get both. Okay, so I'm just going to hit undo. Uh oh. <laughs> I'm gonna, okay, I double click. Now I'm just going to go to my history panel. Okay, there we go. All right, so uh, one thing, I'm going to hit Command-S to save. Command-S to save in case my machine crashes. Okay, so I'm going to hit again Command-T under or edit free transform. Move that ear in a little bit. And then when I'm done, I just click on that check mark or I'm going to undo. I'm going to do the skin or I can move it in and I'll just double click there. And that does the same thing as clicking that check mark that's up there. All right, and again, you notice the check mark isn't here because I don't need it. It's only there when I hit Command T when I've actually, you know, selected something. So check mark and the 
and this one means don't do, you know, don't make any changes, okay? And as you can see, it's a little jaggedy, jaggedy, jaggedy edges here. So I can go in and I can clean this up. I'm still on the, I'm going to name that ear. Oops, cancel. I have to click on the text ear. Okay, and I can just clean up those hard edges if I want. And there are other other ways, like there's this pen tool, but the pen tool can be very difficult to use. Um, I'm going to do this ear another way. I'm going to just use the regular lasso tool. And again, I have, I'm using a Wacom tablet, so it probably won't, if you don't have a Wacom tablet, it probably, you know, a drawing tablet won't be as easy. And again, I use the lasso tool, and if I hold the, the option key I can take away and if I hold the shift key I can add to the selection so there's a number of ways you can you know do do these okay so I'm gonna hit command C whoops it's not on the right layer go down to stuff layer command C command V and there it is and you can see it, it's, it, it looks a little cleaner than that first one. Um, so I'm going to go to Edit, Transform, Flip Horizontal, put it in the place, Command-T to squish it just a little bit. You can see this looks a little cleaner, a little nicer than the, the other one because it does, you know, it's not, doesn't have those jagged edges. But again, the pen tool, which is very complicated unless you're used to using Illustrator, that can be very complicated. All right, so now I'm just going to go to the, the tool of, that I highly recommend, the Quick Selection tool. Um, uh, we need that bow tie. I'm just going to zoom in on here, do the, knock this one out. Just hit the Quick Selection. Oh, I'm now in the wrong layer. I'm still on, I'm going to label it since I'm here. Ear 2 enter okay and I'm gonna go to the stuff layer alright there we go that's selected and I'm gonna hit command C command V uh, move tool and there it is okay zoom out okay drop that guy in the place move it up alright okay so now mushroom hat okay I'm gonna use the quick selection tool now I'm just gonna paint over here Oh, not on the right layer Quick stuff. All right, now I'm just going to paint. And I expect, oh, this is actually, whoops, it just went all everywhere. <laughs> so, hmm, I'm going to hit Command Z. I'm going to paint, paint a little slower. Okay, so I got that. All right, got that, got that. And I'm letting go each time. Okay, at least I can, I got it to stay in this area so I can still keep it on the screen. Now I'm going to hit the option, you know, it's right now it's, no keys are touched and you have the plus sign I hit the option key and I get the minus okay and and what Photoshop does as you, the more you add and subtract the more it learns what you're you know looking for and I'm just going back and forth letting getting that plus minus plus minus you know plus minus by pressing the um, option key okay and I'm just going back and again the more I do it the more it learns what I'm after and you know you give it a couple seconds and it you know and it sort of sets itself okay although see this is really hard to see I mean I'm having trouble <laughs> seeing this with my own eyes let alone the quick selection, letting the quick selection tool see the differences. Okay, that looks pretty good. Um, all right, so from here, I'm going to hit Command C to copy, and I'm just going to move over here by holding the space bar. Command V. Oh, I keep doing that; it keeps popping off the screen. Okay, move it over here. Okay, and then I'm going to move it up to the top. I'm going to call it cancel. I'm going to double click on the text and call it hat. I know my names aren't consistent, so I might call hat and some I'm calling vegetables. Hat was easier to type than mushroom. <laughs> All right, there we go. So we got a little mushroom hat 
and put it on his head. I got a little garbage right here. I'm just going to hit the lasso tool, put a lasso around it, delete. Or take the eraser tool. Oh, I'm going to hit deselect, command D, and then get rid of that selection. And then I can just erase. So, you know, however you're comfortable, you know, working, you know. Okay, so we have our hat. All right, I need these little beady things here. I have no idea what these are. They look like purple peas. All right, so um, I'm just going to go with this. I'm going to see how it does with the magic wand tool. Oh, I'm on the wrong layer. I'm going to hit Command D to deselect. Okay, stuff layer. All right, this is going well. Uh, oh, no. Oh, well, got too excited. Oh, and for each of these things, I'm holding the Shift key down. Okay, so I'm just from here, I'm just going to hit Command C to copy. I'm going to hit the space option command bar to zoom out <laughs> command space bar zoom in command V all right it's on the layer I'm gonna hit beads and I'm gonna drag those up to the top okay where are they <laughs> I've lost them uh, I'm gonna click on here and take auto select the, okay they're still over here I thought I'd move them over here Okay, so I'll move them to here. And I'm hitting space, command, zoom in. And this, they actually lined up nicely. So I'm going to hit command, well, rather than use command T to free transform, I'll just go right here. And, you know, you can scale this, but also if you hover over the corners, you get that um, little rotating arrow symbol. And I can just rotate that whole thing all at once. Okay, and then I double click. Mm, the selection looks, you know, I got, you can see if I put it over the blue, I got a little bit too much of uh, that white. So this one, I'm going to select again. Well, I'm going to click in the back area with the magic wand tool. And then I'm going to hit edit to invert. So I get the inside. Uh, where's inverse? I can't remember. Command I, command shift I. Okay, so now I've, hang on, did I do that? Okay, so command shift I to invert I think yeah that's select inverse right there okay and now here I'm gonna make a, a layer mask and then I'm go here it's all it's selected so I'm gonna hit mask edge and then this shift edge I'm just gonna drop that in oh didn't get as much off of that as I'd like um, but I will say let's see the feather if I soften that edge it'll clean it up nicely you can see it there, there okay so if I remove the the feather shift edge it's getting a little bit but not enough again if I feather it a little bit that just kind of makes the edges fuzzy so you really can't see and I'm gonna hit OK alright this layer I really don't need this mask anymore but again I'd recommend uh, leaving it until you really you really need to but I'm just gonna hit apply layer mask okay so now I'm gonna go to my move tool drag this feller into place now we just have all we just have left is the bow tie pasta. All right. Okay, so from here I'm going to hit the let's see with the magic wand tool. I'm I have a feeling that nothing's going to work with this cuz it's so close to this area here. Um I can I'll show you another mixed way to do it. I'm going to use the quick selection tool. All right. Okay, I'm on the Oh, it this area these items are still selected, so I have to hit command D to deselect or select deselect to, for this to work. That's why that wasn't working. Okay, this is working pretty good. And actually, it's working much better than I thought. And again, remember, I'm just using the option key to get that minus. And I'm just going back and forth, you know, with the plus minus. Okay, so right now my f I'm on the quick selection tool. My finger's on the option key. All right, see so if I go too far, then I just let go and add it back and the more times I go back and forth the more it learns what I want and what I don't want okay that looks pretty good um let's see this did a much better job than I thought it would since this there's not much contrast here okay but again you can always find tool tune by using like the lasso tool if you feel like it didn't come in I'm just gonna subtract a little here so you can yeah I'm gonna add a little so I'm gonna hit the shift key ok 
okay and I'm going to option key to subtract shift to add okay so you can just go back and forth okay so I'm gonna hit command C to copy um, and I'm gonna hit command D to deselect that I'm gonna hit command V to paste it and you can see it dropped in back here bow tie I'm gonna move this up to the top drag hold let go now I'm gonna click the move tool move this down spacebar to move this little guy over okay I got my little bow tie alright I can see now it's against that blue it's not as clean as I thought so I'm gonna just click on the eraser tool oops and I can clean this up just a little bit okay Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. So I think I'm just about done here. Okay. And again, a lot of this haloing won't show up so much if this were on, a, on the white background and again that's why I have the blue just so I can see exactly what's happening okay that should do it alright so I'm just gonna zoom out here and I think I'm done so I'm gonna go down to my stuff layer I'm going to delete that and I don't know oh, I uh, turn the eye off I'm gonna turn this blue layer off now you can see that's how that goes I'm gonna bring in my original all right, it looks like this hat should be a little more on the top of his head. Oops, move tool. Oops, auto select is off. Okay, click auto select on. Now I can move that up. Move that up. And I think that's about it. Although this bow tie, yeah, is a little bit squished. I'm going to hit the free transform. Whoops. Double click. I'm gonna auto select this on. Okay, that should okay. Now bow tie is selected. Command T. And I'm just gonna use these side things. And right now it's pulling from the side. I can just hold the option key and pull it out on the sides here. In a in a expanse middle. If I don't use a command key, it just pulls from this side. If I hold the option key, it will stretch out that way now let's take a look all right I think that's it I'm gonna just double click here um, I just hit the crop tool I'm gonna start out here double click get that cropped up nicely oh okay um, this actually the ear some of this white does need to be whoops don't mean that okay don't crop some of this area does need to be fixed but I'm not gonna fix this here um, just because this tutorial is getting a little long and so I'm going to hit command S to save and now I want to save this as a JPEG so I'm going to hit save as I'm, so that way I'll have my Photoshop file with all the layers in case I need to go back and change anything which I recommend because if you get a bad grade and you want to go back and change it if you keep your Photoshop file with all the layers you'll be able to go back and change things easily and from here okay food guy Photoshop JPEG all right, and I just hit save, and I'm going to put that all the way up. I'll hit OK, and now I have an extra Photoshop file. I have the Photoshop file and the PSD on my desktop. And so that would be Photoshop file and food guy on the desktop right there. Okay, so that's it, and good luck. Bye-bye.